OK, it's time for another shootout or face-off, whatever you want to call them. On the left, we've got an Asus Zenbook, du uh, Zenbook, beg your pardon, Asus Zenbook Duo UX482E, which is, uh, it's not a new machine. It's an 11th gen i7 uh, with 16 gig of RAM. On the right, we've got our Mac Mini M2 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So, um, I'm kind of expecting, based on previous experience, that this might be about neck and neck, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Just a reminder, you're looking at a test for uh, FL Studio performance, and uh, it's to aid decision making when you're looking at um, upgrading your machine. Um, I'm looking at different PCs, different laptops mainly, um, and uh, if I can get hold of uh, Mac stuff, I, that's in the equation as well. And there's quite a few of these videos now. Um, which uh, give you a good idea of the kind of performance you can expect at different levels of hardware. Anyway, I'm already blabbering. Let's get stuck in. Um, as before, uh, the first reading I'll give you will be um, the left machine, which is the ASUS ZenBook Duo UX482E. And the second one will be the Mac Mini uh, M2 with 8 gigs of RAM. So let's go. That's a false start. Let's try it again. That doesn't sound too bad. and maybe a little bit loud, but hopefully you can still hear me. On the left, we've got a readout of 18 from the Zenbook Duo, 23 from the Mac Mini. So the Mac Mini having to work a little bit harder at this stage. Um, as far as the FL Studio metrics are concerned, which is basically a processor benchmark um, within uh, FL Studio. Now looking at uh, 18 on the left from the Zenbook against 22 on the right from the Mac Mini. Um, and you can see, if you can just see the screen on the right, actually you might be out of picture, we're moving into a faster section of the track which will um, put a bit more load on uh, performance wise on the processors. Um, so let's give it a little bit more time, see what we get. We're going down into it now. At the moment we've got 21 on the left and 29 on the right. Um, it's starting to build up now. There's a bit more, um, a bit more instrumentation coming in. So we're now looking at 23 on the left and 32 on the right. 25, 26 on the left against 33, down to 30 on the right. Uh, 25 from the Zenbook Duo against 33 from the Mac Mini. And uh, if, you, if you can zoom in on this video, you might be able to see these readings. I'll just point out where they are, basically here and here. Um, in an ideal world, I'd, I'd zoom in on those so you could read them, but that's why I'm reading them out. So 26 against 33. And I think they're slightly out of sync because I can hear my, my tapping skills obviously at the beginning weren't as good as normal. They're sli really slightly out of sync. Uh, 26 against 33. Um, let's give it a little bit more time. 27 against 34. And um, we're quietening down again now. So down to 20 against 29. So that gives us enough to get going. Let's close that down. So the um, Asus Zenbook Duo with the 11th Gen i7 um, is ahead of the uh, Mac Mini M2 for this FL Studio benchmark. Um, not back into it, they're both great machines, they both do the job. I do like um, the Mac Mini, I, mean, I do like the Mac Mini, I do like the Asus Zenbook Duo for FL Studio because uh, you get this great way to manipulate the, um, the, the mixer. It's very easy to do with your finger, which I love. And uh, it just docks nicely into that second screen down there. It works really well. Um, and I, I must admit, I do like touch screens anyway. So uh, that normally gives um, Windows a slight edge. I don't know why we're not getting touch screens on Mac Mini. Um, I think that's down to Steve Jobs. I don't think he was right. It's a nice option to have. Anyway, I'm blabbering it again. I hope you've uh, got something out of that video. Um, thanks very much for watching. Please give me a like, 
Subscribe if you want to see more videos or, and notify, get notifications of uh, more videos. Um, I have got a couple more lined up. Thanks very much for your time. Bye-bye. Um,